what if there was a better way? What if there was something better than being debt free? What if there was something better than just paying cash or just using a bank over and over and over again? The, the trap was to always pay cash or use debt. And so we came up with, discovered, found, and kind of refined something that we now have trademarked as the debt snow bank method, uh, which is our tongue in cheek response to good old Dave. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's just like it sounds. You know, you're banking something. It's not, you're not setting up a literal FDIC insured bank. But in this case, we're using a tool that helps us, in essence, become the bank. It helps us buy back our debt. And maybe crucially for us, for my wife and I, it kept us liquid while we were doing that. Mm-hmm. Because again, the biggest problem that we found, besides that lost opportunity to grow our money, that was one mega problem as we were throwing money into the hole of our student loans. We'd never see that money compound for me ever again. But we also had the problem of no access to cash. Like if we just tripped on the sidewalk right. or had a flat tire or something, we'd, we'd go back into debt all over again right. while we were trying to get out of debt. So by using the debt snow bank method, we were able to break free from our creditors and stay liquid, meaning accessible money at the same time. So it's a much more sane approach for becoming uh, debt-free. Any feedback, thoughts on any of this, Ryan? No, this is good stuff. I know exactly where you're going. So okay, <laughs> and, I, and I've used this multiple times in my business and life. Thanks to you. Love so. it. Love it, man. Well, yeah, the, um, the, the tool we use is using a dividend paying whole life insurance policy. And hey, wait, f- isn't that what Dave Ramsey says is bad? Yeah, no? <laughs> that was the one thing that really almost caught me like from moving forward on this yeah. because I was so tied up in Dave's, um, his reality distortion field. Like I would log, I would listen to his radio show um, every day and I knew what he thought about whole life insurance. But um, as I finally got through a lot of my own bias and, and kind of preconceived notions, what we're talking about here is a specifically designed type of whole life. It's categorically different than what you'd hear Dave talk about on his radio show. Uh, and either he just doesn't know about this or he's not willing to make this, this exception. Mm-hmm. Either way, he's not giving you the truth that you might need to help you break free because it's added hundreds of thousands of dollars of wealth to my family because we paid off our student loan debt this way, yeah. as opposed to just paying it off the old fashioned way, the Dave, the Dave Ramsey snowball way. All right. So uh, again, we're using a whole life policy designed the bank on yourself way, meaning it's got a ton of cash right away. We squeeze the death benefit. We squeeze down the commissions. We flood the policy with cash, whether it's 200 bucks a month or more or less, the more you pack into that policy, the more you can have access to. And essentially the steps are very simple. Once you've established kind of your list of debts, you list them all out, same as before, either by smallest to largest balance or highest interest rate, whatever you prefer. And you keep current on all those debts. We don't want you to go behind on any debt in this project. The next step would be to establish, set up, and fund a dividend paying whole life policy, kind of engineer the bank on yourself way, and put everything else, just just go nuts funding that whole life policy. Put everything you can into there. The money that I was overpaying on my student loans early on in my project there, I should have been putting straight into one of these policies. Now, we finally figured it out about halfway through our, our project. Thank goodness. But everything you can squeeze in here comfortably, of course, going into a policy. That policy is accessible money. It's liquid, meaning you can get access to it. Um for any reason, if there's a medical emergency or whatever, it gives you a pool of cash Oops, mm-hmm. right away. It gives you a pool of cash right away. So there's no sense in fighting off the orcs at your front door if you've left the back door and the garage door wide open, <laughs> <That's> right? right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my so got to get my Lord of the Rings reference in there. <laughs> so it creates a bank of money, not talking about an FDIC insured bank. I'm talking like a snow bank or a food bank, right? Mm-hmm. Get it? Uh, and as you build up your storehouse of money, your bank of money uh, becomes worth as much as your smallest debt. So I want you to imagine your debts are coming down slowly. Meanwhile, your policy is getting just flooded with cash. So it's growing quickly. And if you can imagine two piles of money in your mind there, 
at some point, that policy will be the same as one or all of your debts, and you can borrow against the policy and wipe out the debt. So that's step three. Yeah. Plus, you've bought insurance. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Not to mention, you've solved that problem for your family in case mm-hmm. you pass away. You're not leaving them with debt. Right. Yeah. So step three was, uh, yeah, when you have enough cash value in your whole life policy, you take a policy loan to pay off your debt. Now, Ryan, why in the world would you do that? Like, aren't you just trading one debt for another? Why would you take a policy loan? Loans equal bad, right? <laughs> Normally, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a, I guess, can I go on? Basically, yeah, go my answer it. is always step four, which is that uh, that money that you took out continues to grow as if you never took it out. So that's, yep. it's, it's your money. Um, but just, uh, just the way it's set up is that, um, you know, the, and you never have to pay it, but that's a whole other, I don't know if you want to get into all that, but yeah, I was like it. talking yeah. about that. Cause it's boggle. It's when I first heard of this is like, I, this sounds way too good to be true, but now I understand the inner workings of it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, you can pay that debt off. It does lower the cash value that you have available to borrow another, to borrow more back. Um, but then that, that money that you took out continues to earn dividends every single year as if you never touched it. Yeah. And I mean, it's better to pay it back. But even if you never did, let's say that that insurance, you had a million dollar death benefit, and let's say you borrowed 50 grand and you did not pay it back. Well, that means you're not, you would have lost that opportunity of that 50 grand. That 50 grand is not going, um, it'll grow faster if you pay it back. But even if you don't, your family just has essentially will pay it back at, with, off of the death benefit. So, mm-hmm. pretty yeah. sweet. 